Norway's ambition is to have reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 40% compared to 1990 levels by 2030, and to be carbon neutral by 2050. Furthermore, the Norwegian parliament has decided on a national goal that all new cars, sold by 2025, should be zero emission electric or hydrogen, ZEVs. Norway wants to reach this goal by using incentives and a green tax system, not a ban on conventional vehicles. There are several tax incentives for purchasing clean vehicles, but also other benefits such as access to bus lanes and on toll roads a maximum of 50% of the charges paid by conventional cars. A new national rule that ZEVs should pay a maximum of 50% of the parking fee for conventional vehicles for public parking spaces will come into effect in 2020. Until 2017, parking for e-vehicles was completely free across Norway, including in Trondheim. Along with other parts of Norway, in Trondheim, with its approximately 200,000 inhabitants, making it the country's third largest city, both local and national government measures to encourage ZEVs were implemented with great success, but also leading to a number of unexpected problems. Congestion was one of these problems. Parking for e-vehicles was free, and the maximum parking duration was five hours. This was incentive enough for people to come to work by e-car instead of using sustainable modes. Trondheim then made the parking fee for ZEVs the same as for conventional vehicles, and reduced the maximum parking time limit for ZEVs to three hours. The problem was solved immediately, and occupancy of on-street parking places by ZEVs fell by 75%. The fear is that if national legislation soon cuts the parking fee for ZEVs by 50%, the congestion problem might return. However, if it does, the response of the City Council will be to start to charge a road user charging fee for ZEVs, which currently pay nothing to drive into the city's toll ring. Still, Norwegian cities put a lot of effort into preparing the ground for convenient use of ZEVs, and Trondheim is one of the most ambitious of them all. Today there are more than 100 chargers, with more than 200 charging points, and about 15 fast or hyperchargers on public parking spaces. On private parking spaces, there are more than 100 fast chargers. Let us ask Vega Gorset, who is responsible for the charging facilities, about his experience. In Trondheim, you don't have to pay for charging your car at the charging stations at the, uh, connected to the public uh, parking places. Uh, but you have to pay for parking. So this is a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing about it is that uh, this is one of the many measures that actually helps the growth of electric vehicles in Norway. So the bad thing or the problem with that is that uh, those facilities are always full and we also know that uh, many people are parking their car there even though they don't have to charge their car and uh, we see those places sort of like uh, reserved uh, parking space for electric vehicles. With its activities regarding e-mobility, Trondheim again proves to the rest of the world its sense for innovation. Just like approximately 25 years ago, when they implemented the first bicycle lift. 